very excited to be here for our uh, second KubeCon uh, in India. India. Um, Jonathan and I are going to kind of take you through a little bit of a, a journey of CNCF's presence in India over the last 10 years. We are celebrating our 10-year anniversary, but uh, you know, without further ado, I'll let Jonathan kind of kick things off here with a little bit of uh, what CNCF is uh, up to these days. Yeah, good morning, everyone. I'm Jonathan Bryce. Uh, I am uh, super excited to be here. It's my first time to Hyderabad, and uh, it's so cool to see such an awesome turnout. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, I also want to thank our sponsors who make it possible for us to get everyone together for these, uh, these kinds of events. So thank you to all of our sponsors. Go check them out in the Solutions Showcase. And I want to say thank you to our members of uh, the CNCF who are here in India. Um, we have awesome companies who are at all levels of membership in the CNCF. Um, would love to have any of your organizations join us as well. So thank you to everybody who's supporting the work of our community. Um, I want to quickly touch on a few points that are, uh, to me, representing the themes that we're seeing throughout the cloud native ecosystem right now. And you will see these themes in many, many of the presentations this week. Uh, I think there are really three things that are driving a lot of the conversations, a lot of the work, a lot of the, um, the deployments and the use cases that we see. Uh, that's observability, uh, platform engineering going mainstream, and the way that we are seeing cloud native take AI into production. Um, one of the places that you can go and learn about the real world examples of these things happening is on the cncf.io website at, uh, at our case studies page. There are dozens and dozens and dozens of case studies from all over the world. It's an awesome resource. And I just want to touch on a few examples of this. When we talk about observability, OpenTelemetry is a project within CNCF that is really driving vendor neutral standardization. And it is actually one of the fastest growing projects in the history of the CNCF. Uh, one example of, of a major company who has um, been very successful with OpenTelemetry is Lockheed Martin. They're a huge security and aerospace company. Uh, they have 70 Kubernetes clusters. And with OpenTelemetry, they were able to unify all of the output from all of these clusters feed them into their standard systems that they use to visualize, observe, uh, interpret all of that data, and get a much, much better uh, picture of what's going on across their, their whole um, environment. And there are other examples, Love Holiday, Vanguard, HDFC Bank, a lot of them that are doing the same thing with observability. We have a lot of great uh, OTEL and observability talks here this week, too, if this is something you're interested in. Uh, platform engineering is another uh, huge movement that we're seeing. This is really a community that's emerging within the broader CNCF community of folks who are uh, kind of building the roads inside of organizations so that their developers can move faster and safer to deliver software. And we see um, a lot of examples of this. One is a customer of Infosys. Uh, that's a, a US automotive manufacturer. They were able to cut onboarding time for new applications and development teams from seven days down to just a few hours and save millions of dollars a year with this. So uh, this is something that is a great practice to learn about, to implement, and it drives huge business results. Um, again, with you know, awesome CNCF projects and, and great user stories. And obviously, AI is something that the entire world can't stop talking about right now. Um, there's lots of hype around it. But what I think is really awesome about the cloud native AI work is that it's sort of where the, uh, the production workloads are really happening. Um, you know, this is not about hype. This is about how are people implementing AI in their businesses for real today. Uh, Babylon Healthcare is a, a high growth healthcare company. Um, they were able to implement an AI system that massively cut the, uh, the validation time for their, their clinical testing. Um, that's just one example. OpenAI has been using Kubernetes to run uh, the most popular AI systems in the world since 2017, I think. So, um, you know, a lot of real work happening. And again, you'll see a lot of that here this weekend. So, um, great things happening and awesome trends. I'm going to hand it to Chris to talk about the community some. Awesome. Exciting. Uh, so, first off, um, Thank you for selling out KubeCon and the others. 4,000 folks of you here. It's very exciting uh, to see that. It's uh, always a little bit surprising how many folks here. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> um, uh, about seven, a little over 70% of you are brand new to KubeCon. If you're brand new to KubeCon, raise, raise your hand really quickly. 
Yeah, so if you look around this room, there's, there's a, lot of, a, a lot of new folks. And you know, as a community, we have grown quite significantly over the last 10 years. Uh, we have over 280,000 contributors um, you know, worldwide, uh, 200 projects, you know, truly, truly a large um, you know, community. One thing that we're doing this year is you know, we're celebrating our 10-year anniversary. Uh, we did this last year for Kubernetes, so we updated one of our little, um, you know, contributor card uh, projects. So, um, you know, uh, I want everyone in here that contributed to Kubernetes. How many of you are a contributor to to, C to a CNCF project? Raise your hand. All right, that's a good amount. That's probably less than 10%, but, but good healthy. So what I want everyone to do is if you're a contributor, um, I just did this before I got on stage. Go to contribcard.cncf.io on your phone, enter your GitHub handle, and then you could go send out and see a message of what your first contribution to CNCF was. Uh, mine was setting up the Technical Operating Committee, or TOC, our Technical Board of Directors. Uh, DIMS, I think, updated some website documentation. Uh, Nikita did something there. Uh, Jonathan added uh, Kata containers to the CNCF landscape. So we're all contributors here, and we definitely contribute it in, in different ways. So I really want to encourage uh, folks here to contribute more uh, to, to CNCF. So, as I mentioned, it's 10 years of CNCF. Uh, earlier this week, uh, there was a celebration in, in, in Hyderabad for, for CTNCF, and we have a lot of these um, celebrations that are happening all over the world. So please take a look at them. There's a, a lot of them happening across India and, and, and the world. Um, we've grown a lot over time. It's kind of an interesting thing that we juggle at CNCF. We have over 200 projects now that we kind of continue to grow in a, in a linear fashion right now. Uh, we're we're going to be breaking 300,000 contributors pretty soon worldwide, which is incredible. That This makes us truly one of the largest open source uh, organizations in the world in, in raw uh, contributors. Truly amazing what people are doing uh, across the world. So since we're in India, it's always fun to kind of dive in where you know countries fit on overall contribution. So, um, you know, in the last uh, year or so, uh, India is fifth in overall commits, uh, you know, worldwide. So, you, you know, behind U.S., Germany, China, and the U.K., uh, which is good. Like, great, great contribution. I think we could do a little bit better next year. So, I'll be my challenge to you to see. Uh, let's get you on the podium. Let's let's get a medal. Let's let's. Uh, that'll be my challenge to everyone. We we could do this. Um, uh, and also to Kubernetes, your fifth overall, so pretty consistent, um, you know, there. If you look at the top 10 CNCF projects that are being contributed across India, it makes a lot of sense. Kubernetes, Istio, Otel, Kubevert, Knative, gRPC, Envoy, Helm, Cilium, and Argo. These are some of the most widely used projects in CNCF, so it makes sense where, where contributions are coming from. Uh, the community here, um, I find incredible, like the amount of help uh, I have personally received and just support in bringing new contributors have been uh, amazing. We have 42 ambassadors uh, in India, um, and also your two program chairs, uh, Bhavani and Atul, are, are featured in the middle there. So thank you so much for helping us run uh, KubeCon India here in Hyderabad. It's, it's, I always tell people, it, it, it may look easy on the outside, but once you're in that program chair role, you see like, oh my gosh, there's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a little stressful at times. So thank you so much uh, for, for that. Um, we also have one of the most active uh, cloud native community groups uh, in, in India. So we have uh, 37 cities represented across 45 chapters with 27,000 plus people. So truly one of our most active communities. Uh, anyone, you know, for all the people that were new in this room, the best way to get involved is usually to your local CNCG. So there's a lot of them, so I highly recommend uh, taking a look at and, and getting involved there, because you know there's one KubeCon a year here, but there's a ton of these uh, meetups and, and events that happen throughout, throughout the year. Um, you know, about a year ago, we also launched our Kubestronaut program, which is to celebrate people who have attended and, and passed all of our certifications regarding, Kube, uh, regarding Kubernetes. This is the CKA, CKAD, C, uh, you know, C CKS, KCNE, and, and, uh, et cetera. India ranks number one in the world for most Kubestronauts, so I think the culture of... <laughs> truly amazing, because uh, it's not easy to do. Uh, I think there's a culture of like learning and, and education and sharing here that's great, and so it's great to kind of see that. And, and there's six Kubestronauts uh, from India, which are highlighted up there, and hopefully... And those are for everyone that passes 
all of CNCF related certs, not just Kubernetes, but things like Backstage, Istio. So truly, truly difficult. And then congratulations to uh, the, the six folks um, you know, there. So Jonathan talked a little bit about platform engineering. And um, I will say that uh, it has been a huge focus and investment in our community. Uh, we've started to create new educational materials. Uh, we have uh, a technical community group in CNCF and, and, and kind of that sits in one of our technical um, tags that is doing more work here. But we now have an introductory level uh, certification called the CNPA, which is available to kind of introduce you to platform engineering and what it really means in a modern enterprise. So it's vendor neutral, uh, very open source focus and CNCF focus. So great, 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 great uh, thing to kind of get started with and definitely a focus for CNCF. The other exciting thing that I've heard complaints over the years is it would be nice if we had some more you know, localized ability to potentially purchase, uh, you know, certification and educational materials in India. So I'm happy to announce that today, we're partnering with uh, Linux Foundation Education and Code Cloud to offer uh, specialized pricing and bundles and uh, localized payment options uh, in India. So uh, that launches today and something that will continue uh, to expand over time. You could take a peek at that QR code and, and learn a little bit more. So very, very exciting uh, to do this. And, and thank you for everyone that has been bugging for years <laughs> to make this happen. Um, another cool thing that we do here is we do a lot of mentorships. Um, mentorships have grown over the years in India significantly, uh, and it's very exciting to um, see if this echo will stop. <laughs> it's like magic, call it down. All right, good juju. Um, so mentorships kind of drive contributions to CNCF projects. These are people that show up and contribute to our projects over time. Uh, and usually for like a summer or a semester, and uh, it's a great way to get involved and get paid for your work uh, to get involved in CNCF. And if you kind of look at the data, uh, we've had people that have become LFX mentees and actually have become maintainers over time. So there's some good examples with Abhishek became an open EBS and GRPC maintainer, uh, Nitesh, Kubernetes, Argos, there's a lot of examples here. And if you're looking to grow your career and contribute to CNCF, this is one of the best places to do it. And also you get paid for your time. So highly recommend you check this out. Um, mentorships are just kicking off now, so you could go apply and get started for the next uh, semester. The other cool thing that we've been focusing a lot in CNCF, Jonathan mentioned a little bit earlier, there's a huge focus on uh, AI-related work. For many people who have been involved in Kubernetes, uh, there are over 100 Kubernetes projects and products out there that are conformant. This means you could have something running on Amazon to you know, Microsoft's cloud to Google to uh, VMware's you know, lo local thing. These are all conformant solutions, which means that you, know, you don't have to worry about necessarily being fully locked into a particular Kubernetes uh, dis distribution uh, or product. We are gonna be doing the same thing for what the Kubernetes conformance program did, but we're gonna do that for AI because what's happening is a lot of companies are running AI workloads on Kubernetes and taking advantage of new features and so on. So we are building a conformance program to ensure that that same kind of Kubernetes uh, conformance, portability, working across different products, regardless of architecture, chipset, cloud, public, private, will apply to the AI space. So we're just kicking this effort off. Uh, highly recommend everyone get invo get, gets involved as we kind of work to kind of launch this as a V10 later this year. And finally, um, with a little bit of time, look, contributions are basically the lifeblood of open source communities. There are many ways to contribute to CNCF. You could contribute code, you could host a meetup, um, you could go do a mentorship, uh, you could translate something. There's so many ways to get involved and there's great resources, especially if you go to contribute.cncf.io, which has a lot of them. Okay, uh, one more slide to end things. So we've been blown away uh, with our time here in India. This is our second KubeCon. Um, and as you know, as these things grow, we have to plan a little bit in advance. So uh, next year, I'm very excited to announce that uh, we are doing KubeCon again in India. We're excited to come back. And we are uh, moving cities. So we're gonna be in Mumbai next year uh, at the week of June 15th. So save the date. 
We will send more details out on, on this. Uh, we are very excited. It'll be our first KubeCon in Mumbai. And uh, just like with KubeCon, we like to rotate cities. So this will be our first presence there. And we'll hope to see many of you there uh, attending, sponsoring, and supporting the community. So um, with that, um, I, you know, Jonathan and I want to thank you for your time. Yes. Welcome. Uh, learn something new. Make a friend. You know, this is what we're here. We're truly a, an open source community that's all working together to make cloud native uh, better globally. So thank you again for showing up and hopefully you learned something new. So thank you again. Thank you. And uh, now I'm going to hand it off to one of our uh, program chairs. Uh, Bhavani is going to come up and talk a little bit uh, and then take you through the next part of our program. So uh, welcome Bhavani to stage.